Hello, I'm Alan Jones, this is Paul McAvoy, we are Fright Fest Presents, and the movie we're going to talk about now is one of my absolute favourites, Night of the Living Dead. I'm even wearing the t-shirt, because Carl Rankin is such a good friend, he gave me one. And some zombie blend coffee, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> now, Carl Rankin, um, well, we've known him for years, haven't we? Um, back in the past Fright Fests, he gave us Infestation, which was a giant bug movie. Mm -hmm. And so I've always kept in touch with Carl. He had another movie called Nuclear Family, which yep. I really enjoyed too. Yep. So when he sent us this, um, I was anxious to see it. And I just thought it was just great. It's charming, funny. It's a zombie comedy, you know, a rom-zom-com, as they're called now. But, you know... Really, really, you really sweet care about the lead characters. I loved from, it from so minute much. One. Um, I've read a lot of the reviews on this, and they all have like allied it to Shaun of the Dead, mm -hmm. Life After Beth, Warm Bodies. I mean, it's, we're talking that sort of feel. Uh, we're not talking like all out, you know, gore fests. Mm -hmm. There is a bit of that, but we're talking more on the very romantic side. Um, the two leads, Maria Thayer, Michael mm -hmm. Cassidy, their chemistry together is just so superb. Um, the last 20 minutes for me, I was just, just brilliant. flew by, I was in tears at the end, the soundtrack, the songs, everything about this movie works. I love Ray Wise, from, obviously you'll recognise him from Twin Peaks, he's one of the supporting Yeah, characters. well Ray Wise is in all of uh, Carl's yes. movies, they're yeah. old friends. Um, shot in Portland, Maine, which is like Carl's, you know, little stomping, stomping grounds. And it's just so well done. I mean, Carl knows how to pull this stuff off, he really does. He, he's like a really good technician. He's a great director. He gets it. He gets everything right. And I mean, I just love this film. I mean, uh, it's probably, you know, for horror fans, for rom com fans, it's got everything going for both. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll be shocked. Absolutely. Night of the Living Dead.